Back Anglais, lesson number four. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Ibrahim Mongom Attitude. Please subscribe and comment the videos. In today's lesson, notions and functions, we are going to see how to agree in English and how to disagree in English. Good to know. To agree is when you have the same opinion as someone else, when you share someone else's opinion. To disagree is the contrary, opposite, when you have a different opinion from someone else on something. To agree or disagree are very often followed by with, to agree with someone, to agree with something, to disagree with someone, to disagree with something. For example, I agree with you. I agree with this. I disagree with you. I disagree with this. It's good to know that. To agree, verb, agreeing, ing form, disagreeing, agreed, past and past participle, disagreed, past and participle, so agree is a regular verb. An agreement, a disagreement, an accord, un désaccord. Be careful. Avoid overgeneralization. What is overgeneralization? Is when you translate word to word from French to English. Many people say, I am not agree, or are you agree, which is wrong. So, in French, j'ai faim, j'ai soif, j'ai 18 ans, je suis d'accord, je ne suis pas d'accord. So, as you can see here, you have auxiliary have, auxiliary, auxiliary have, auxiliary have, l'auxiliary avoir ici, ici l'auxiliary être. Donc, les gens ont tendance à traduire directement euh, l'auxiliary avoir en disant I have hungry, alors que en anglais, c'est l'auxiliary être qui sera là, I am hungry. C'est la langue. It is language. In French, you have auxiliary have. J'ai faim, avoir faim, but in French, I am hungry. I am 60 to be. I am 18 years old to be. Many people translate, je suis d'accord in, in English by saying, I am agree. No, don't say I am. Okay? I agree. I agree. I do not agree. So don't use auxiliary B in this case. It's okay? Uh, the word goat, as you can see here, means the greatest of all times. Le meilleur de tous les temps. Souvent les gens traduisent goat par chèvre. C'est vrai, mais dans le sport, la musique, lorsqu'on parle du meilleur, comme Messi, Ronaldo, goat signifie le meilleur de tous les temps. Now, questions. Here is Usain Bolt, Lionel Messi, Ronaldo, Pelé, Kobe Bryant, and Bob Marley. And here, someone says, Pelé is a goat. Pelé, among these guys, Pelé is the greatest of all times. Donc, parmi ces gens que vous avez ici, quelqu'un vous dit que Pelé et le maire de tous les temps. Est-ce que vous êtes d'accord Si vous êtes d'accord, réagissez. Si vous n'êtes pas d'accord aussi, réagissez à votre manière. So, react to the following statements. When you agree, meaning when you have the same opinion as the person, lorsque vous êtes d'accord, voici comment réagir en anglais. Lorsqu'on est d'accord, when you agree, Pele is a goat, I agree with you. Je suis d'accord avec toi. Or, I totally agree with you. Je suis entièrement d'accord avec toi. I completely agree with you. On a the possibility. Number four. 
I agree a hundred percent. Number five, you're right. Number six, I think you're right. Number seven, you're right to say that. Number eight, you're definitely right. Number nine, yes, definitely. Number ten, okay, maybe you've got a point there. Number eleven, I'm with you on this. Number twelve, I share the same view. Number thirteen, exactly. Number fourteen, absolutely. Number fifteen, that's true. Number sixteen, of course. So here are sixteen waves of showing agreement on someone else a uh, statement. So you have a choice. You have more than sixteen waves, but here are the most common, you know, expressions to agree with someone or something. Now, if you don't agree with that, if you disagree, meaning if you have a different opinion from someone else, Pele is a goat, I disagree with you. Number two, I totally disagree with you. Number three, I completely disagree with you. Number four, I don't agree with you. Number five, I am not convinced by that idea. Number six, I am not so sure. I am not so sure. Number seven, you are wrong. Number eight, I think you are wrong. Number nine, I think I disagree. Number ten, I see what you mean, but it looks a bit empty. Number eleven, you're wrong to say that. Number twelve, you're definitely wrong. Number thirteen, I don't share the same view. Number fourteen, that's not true. Number fifteen, I don't think so. Number sixteen, not really. So here are also sixteen expressions to disagree with someone. Some of them are more polite than the others, but all of them show disagreement. Sometimes you partly agree with something or someone. You can say, "I partly agree." I agree up to a point, but I see your point, but. That's partly true, but I am not so sure about that. That's one way of looking at it, but I go along with that view to a point, but. But signifie, mais donc quand quelqu'un dit je suis d'accord, mais ça veut dire qu'il n'est pas à 100% d'accord. Uh, practice, let's practice. React to the following statements by showing your agreement or disagreement. Adam parla à Ali, Adam to Ali, you can succeed without working hard. You are Ali, what is your reaction? Do you agree with what Adam says or disagree? Number two, Modu talking to Marem, Yusundur is better, uh, is, oh I'm sorry here. Number two, Modu talking to Marem says, Yusundur is the best singer in Africa. You are Marem, what's your reaction? Do you agree with Modu or disagree? How do you say that? How do you show Modu that you disagree or you agree with him? Number three, Aliu talking to Paul, chicken is better than fish. You are Paul, do you agree or disagree? Number four, Eliman talking to her mother, I am going to take a second wife. Her mother agrees or disagrees. What's her reactions? 
Number five, Anna talking to Bigge. All the politicians are bad people. Bigge reacts by disagreeing or agreeing. This is your homework. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye. See you very soon in another video.